I've connected up the DMCU900 control unit to the DMSP903 transmitter and you can see that it's connected up here it shows the con transmitter that it's connected to. I now want to set up the current outputs. The distance H, the maximum measuring distance, has been uh, programmed into the controller as being 15 meters which is the maximum range of the DMSP903S transmitter. I now want to set up and configure the current outputs in the control unit. When configuring the current output we have to consider the dead zone or blanking distance of the transmitter. With the DMSP um, 903 transmitter this blanking distance is 0.45 meters and within that distance the transmitter will not um, recognize any of the echo signals. So we have a range of 0 to 15 meters from the transmitter but the effective measuring uh, distance is 15 minus that blanking distance. So in this instance we're going to set up the current output for 4 milliamps to be the bottom of the tank and 20 milliamps will be distance H 15 minus this blanking distance of 0.4 meters, 45 meters. So 4 milliamps we're going to set up at 0 and 20 milliamps is going to be set up at 14.55 meters. To configure the current outputs in the main display click OK. Then select current outs. Here we see current outs 01 C-in-1 uh, and we also see the tick box here but there's nothing in it, it hasn't been ticked. So select um, by using the right arrow to tick it and this means that you're going to configure the current output in the controller. OK. We now come to another menu, program, short tag and info. Select program. OK. Then select source. This is where we're um, sending the controller what the source is going to be, what, which transmitter it's going, to, um, it's going to communicate with. In this case it's our DMSP903S transmitter and the box has been ticked um, which has selected that transmitter. So that's OK. Next, the current output. What is it going to um, refer to? What's it going to relate to? And there's various options here. PV, that's the process variable. That's the uh, most common uh, parameter that you'd want to have your current output relating to. So, tick box here. It's been ticked. Yes, process variable. In other words, the liquid level going up and down in, in the tank. OK. OK, so we've selected the process variable. Press escape. We're back to source. Escape again. Now we want to set up the values for the 4 and 20 milliamp uh, outputs. And we do that in parameters. So we go down to we get parameter. CP1. This is the parameter and the value for the 4 milliamp output. And we want to, in this case, we want it to be 0, 0 meters, which it is at the moment by default. So press OK. CP2, this is the value for 20 milliamps. And in this case, we want it to be um, the maximum range of the transmitter which is 15 metres, less the blanking distance of 0.45 of a metre. So we want this to be 20 milliamps to be 14.55. So, 
change it in here. One. Fourteen point five five. Okay. CP three. Select OK. Then escape. In the menu, uh, C in one menu, we have info. If I select info, it shows the information that we've um, uh, regarding the output current now. So the input from the transmitter, it's measuring 14.3180 meters, which gives an output of 19.745 milliamps. And if I come out, so I've got this connected to a multimeter, and if I look at my multimeter, the multimeter is showing 19.7446 milliamps. So I now go to escape, 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 and that brings us back to the measurement mode again. On here we can see the two bar graphs. The first one uh, shows the percentage of the um, transmitter, the output from the transmitter, so it's a percentage of that range, and as it's 14.318 of a range of 14.55, it's, well, it's very nearly 100%, it's near the top. And also the current output, the second bar graph is the current output, again, um, which is nearly 100%, so it's why it's, you know, both of these are... Um, are almost coloured in completely. If I go through the menu on the screen, um, this is the current output, and as you can see, 0 to is just probably about 98% uh, on the bar graph. Go through, and this is the current output C01. It uh, shows that this box has been ticked, which means the current output has been um, set up in the controller. 